smartphone and in this message i am going to tell you how to use a microphone i have a microphone with me i will just show you how we are supposed to use this mic on the stage many times we have seen that people are not handling these electronic equipments in a proper way they use it as if it has no value like a paper like i can throw this handkerchief here in the same way i cannot throw the mic here many people think i can throw the mic and they don't take care of it some people oh a speech making a speech in the mic and there like all the saliva from the mouth is falling into the mic and uh, they are shouting into the mic screaming into this mic and they don't know how to handle it properly now we need to understand it's uh, a very fragile delicate equipment this mic has no much strength actually it's not just a piece of wire and it's not just a piece of rock it's an electronic equipment it's very fragile and if it falls down once it's gone and, and its story is no more and whatever money we have spent some of the mics cost 5000 10000 there are much more costlier mic than that there are cheaper mics also but remember especially when we use this mic in a church a church may not be having the capacity financial support to i mean financial ability to buy mics every time once they bought it should be used for at least 10 years and suppose the situation is different like you know you have hired it from somewhere and that person who gave you this mic from whom you have hired this mic should be a very poor man he has taken a loan from the bank and he is having this mic peer system providing agency for you know uh, giving for rent and they are also poor people and if you destroy it and we pay a small rent for our use and then it is not going to be proper for uh, the people to handle it in a very careless way so i am going to tell you how we can use the mic and i believe that this is going to be beneficial for every pastors every youth leaders or anyone who is coming to the stage operating using a mic for speech testimony singing or anyhow so some of the tips for the safety of this small poor instrument right uh now sometimes we come to the stage with different mixed emotions maybe we are angry with the with the crowd who are sitting without any discipline they are not giving proper attention to the speaker and we get restless angry upon them totally out of control we have so much of feelings in our in our mind and we want to scold them and so all the anger we are showing upon this mic and we keep it and shouting through the mic and all it is always remember you can have your emotions that's a different story but never make this mic be an instrument to uh, pour out your anger to pour out your emotions into now if you have a child who is 2 years 1 years 1 year or 2 years and you are getting angry and because of your anger you are not going to take a big stick and hit your child to death because we know the child may mistake may commit mistakes and it doesn't mean that you can kill the child you should you should slowly in a very mild way in a very calm way have to take care of the child so the child will have its life anymore and even, even the days to come also you love the child but because of anger the love is not lost maybe for a seconds and if you totally lose your control your anger may cause your child to die in the same way this mic is also a delicate thing like a one year old baby and if you do anything bad anything with your force with your power the baby will be died in the same way the mic also will be dead so please don't kill the mic don't hit sometimes when we come to the stage this is how we have to use we are coming to the stage and the mic is there i am about to begin a message and now what i should do i should uh, uh, i should take the mic and i <laughs> some people blow into the into the mic see our blow is very powerful and when we blow into the mic the things inside this thing may get damaged so don't blow into the mic and some people come and hit on a tuck 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 they hit on the mic don't hit on the mic the mic is not to be you hit it and don't hit on the mic and you know it's a fragile thing always remember don't hit on the mic and sometimes what we do is we hold on the top of the mic while preaching while singing we hold like this this is wrong 
don't hold on this cover area like this oh i am singing oh singing and preaching oh praise the lord jesus is coming soon don't hold there and this mic this long part is there this is given for us to hold our hands like this hold it properly in this way and use the mic don't hold it here like a fashion people don't use it this is not the place this play this area this is actually a net used here and that net is is used because this part has to be opened this should be kept open and that is why this part is used here this net so never disturb this net by holding your hands like this some of the air that is coming into this mic has to go out actually and that is why this net is kept and if you cover it completely the air will not go out and it will affect the the safety of the mic so don't cover it here that also please keep in my, uh, in mind and also it might produce some bad sound like ooh sound and all will come so don't hold it there you stand when you go to a program and if there is a stand mic stand to keep the mic please use the mic stand and there is nothing wrong it's not at all a shame when you use the mic and if you use the mic stand you your both hands are free you can preach so freely now i am holding this mic in one of my hands that means the other hand is free but one hand is always to this 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 one i mean is uh, bound and so if you use a mic i mean stand mic stand your both hands are free you can preach like this do any action you can invite people you can take anything in your hands and anything is possible if you use a stand so it's always preferred and advised to stand use a stand if you are speaking in the mic now another thing some people shout into the mic oh in this night tonight oh wow and please shh, don't shout into the mic and mic is not uh, agile enough to uphold all your shouting don't shout into the mic suppose if you want to raise your voice a little bit please keep the mic away and then raise your voice i can raise my voice any amount but please keep the mic a little far from you especially when the mic is in front of you and if you keep the mic a little far from you straight to your mic nobody is going to notice that you are keeping the mic away at the same at the same time you don't have to kill this microphone right please keep it and when you use less volume keep it near to your mouth and when you use uh, much volume please keep it away from your mouth and that is the best way to use the mic and uh, the reason i am taking a class in this youth alert session is that many of those youths who are listening to my messages are going to become preachers tomorrow you are going to become a preacher you may have to use mics in your colleges uh, after college life you will use the mic and then don't destroy a mic it's very easy to destroy a microphone but can you make it can you make one like this so much of learning so much of research so much of money has been invested behind the finding of this thing this thing called mic and so please keep that in mind keep your volume steady do not blame the operator and every pastor everyone who is using a mic should be able to understand how much volume are you supposed to give to the mic some people keep the mic always like this they will reduce their volume like this reduce their volume they oh, they will increase their volume reducing and increasing volume you should have a control upon yourself so that you can keep the mic according to the volume that you are increasing and when seeing that other people will say this is a preacher this is a person who is sensible he has got good sense of using the electronic things and if you are roughly using it without any control without any balancing others will say what what hopeless thing is this man doing while preaching they will find that the operator the mic operator is doing some circus on the this one and they are not balancing it properly they are like uh, uh, very carelessly using it in if you find anything like that instead of scolding him through the mic in front of a what are you doing man why are why have you come here and we are paying money and don't too much play with the mixer with the mic i am preaching here i want don't speak like he is also a human being right he is also a man with his own personality maybe he is not educated maybe he is not rich he is not uh, <clears throat> good enough to do any other job but at the same time he has a spirit he has a personality respect him also and if you think he is doing some circus some gymnastics on the mixer and he is playing with the volume with the mic system 
what you can do is slowly call one of the organizers, tell them in their ears that this boy is disturbing me, please go and tell him not to disturb me, I am losing my concentration. You can do that instead of scolding him through the mic. Some of those rowdy preachers, politics and in the everywhere they can see um, people scolding the mic, they have also a personality man, what are you thinking? They are also like us only, only because of situations they could not come up to the stage and become a preacher like you, but respect them. It's because of such people that you have become a preacher and if those people were not there, who will come to listen to your message? Who will give mic for you or this one? Please don't do that. And also another thing, these boys will have company all around. They will have so many friends even outside also. They will go and tell to all their friends, so and so preacher was calling me. He was such a rough guy. He is such a uh, proud man and so I don't like him. And hearing this, his friends also will start disliking this preacher. They will have their own circle and next time the, we will have to face the consequence. Maybe next time we will get one of those boys without knowing who they are. We may start sharing gospel with them or we may start advising them. Oh, you have to do so and so and all. And finally you will say, you are the one who harassed one of our colleague, one of our friend in the last meeting and how come you come and advise me to be humble, advise me so many things, I don't want to listen to your advices and all, they will say at least in their heart. So it is always better not to harass them, not only my persons, anyone, please don't harass others. Everyone has got an identity. If you are a married person, your wife has an identity. Respect that identity. If you are a married person, your husband will have an identity. Your children will have their own identity. Don't simply irritate them. Don't simply put them down. And even with your words, even with your look, even with your smile, don't put them down. Everyone has got. It's not that people are all perfect and up to your standard. It's all different. You are different. Others are different. If you find the mic is not sufficient enough, and it is the preacher's responsibility, let me put it in this way. It is the preacher's responsibility to make sure that the audience who are sitting there are listening to this uh, sound, sound of mind. Some people come to the stage and they speak only very, uh, with very less volume only. That's a problem actually. You need to understand um, your, how, much your, how much volume are you using. Too much of sound is not good, very less sound also is irritating. Too much of sound will put them bored. And they can't tolerate their ears has got a capacity and if you go, go beyond that it is it's going to be sickness for him for them and they say not too less volume they will strain to hear your message and finally they will be tired and fall, fall asleep so it is our responsibility to make sure that we are producing sufficient volume for the audience to peacefully in a calm way in a in a warm way they are enjoying the words which we speak not too much volume, not less volume. If there is no mic, even then we need to learn how to balance our volume. The volume should be sufficient enough for everyone. And if your volume is not sufficient and if the crowd is a little more than what is expected, the organizers have to arrange one mic system. If the mic system is still not sufficient, you have to speak loudly, there is no other options. When we use the mic, we have to give some output. We have to give certain volume in the mic and oh, mic is there, so volume will come out. Never think like that. Unless you give something to the mic, the mic cannot produce sound by itself. Whatever you give, it will be um, produced in a much more elaborate way and that is all what is happening. Never keep the mic and reduce your volume. Whatever volume you have, give it to the mic and if you think my volume is too much, then keep the mic a little away, not too, too far away, but a little away from your mouth and speak. We need to have a proper control over the mic and that is why I am saying, I know many people wouldn't say, I can speak this because I uh, have my own mic system and I have gone through the training how to use mics and all. And if you want further training for this, you can call me anywhere. I'll come and give you a very possible teaching for how to handle mics and you know many of those things. Now before speaking, we have to check the mic is working. How do we check? I, I, I am on the stage, the mic is given to me and I just want to make sure that my sound is coming through the mic. How will I check? Some people, as I told you earlier, come and hit on the mic, which is not allowed. Some people blow to the mic, that is also not allowed. Then what is that? You have to speak something. And what will you speak? You have to speak the words to check if the sound is coming. 
some people go and say praise the lord hallelujah pray. praise the lord and hallelujah are not words to be used for checking the mic please keep that in mind there is no problem speaking i mean saying praise the lord and hallelujah everywhere every time you can say that but not for checking the mic if you simply say praise the lord that is fine but with a purpose to check the mic and its function its sound please don't use this word praise the lord and hallelujah and very funny thing is that once when i went to one of those places and that boy who was operating the mic came and told me sir say praise the lord i said why praise the lord is a word sorry hallelujah hallelujah is a word we all use for checking the mics and that boy who is a gentile boy is coming to understand that hallelujah is a word to check the mic no man to check the mic you have to say through the mic checking hello i am checking the mic you say that instead of saying hallelujah praise the lord and all that you can say later on or even before that also while checking the mic you say i am checking the mic checking i am checking the mic 1 2 3 i am checking the mic 1 i am checking the mic 2 i am checking the mic 3 speak like this when you speak with your maximum voice i mean the voice which you are going to use for your singing or speech please use that same volume into the mic when you speak i mean this checking words check hello checking hello checking testing you can speak those words instead of simply hallelujah hallelujah there is no balance in that man you say mic in taking mic hallelujah hallelujah what is that what is it meaning you say hallelujah even without mic why are you checking with hallelujah say hallelujah and praise the lord after checking the mic or before checking the mic even during the time of checking also but checking should be a checking only a testing monitor when we speak the speaker the main output speakers will be outside that is in front of you and you are standing behind the speaker so it is not possible for you to listen to it properly you will get some bass sound um, um, sound only you will hear the sound which crowd hears and the sound which you hear will be totally different so in order to balance your volume you can have a monitor speaker in front of you you can ask the organizers to provide a monitor speaker so that you can listen to what you are speaking the way it goes out you can it's not that you have to hear it then only you will get ideas and all it's just to make sure that your voice is going properly outside you you can understand if your sound is going outside if it's an open stage a huge stage and all open open ground open ground you speak but you will never know you are speaking because the sound is going somewhere the crowd can hear it very properly but the preacher himself cannot hear his voice that is how it is and so what you can do is <coughs> you can ask for a monitor speaker where you can make sure that your sound is coming through that suppose if the translator is standing on my right hand side and uh, i am preaching i am preaching in english the translator is translating to kannada and now we have to remember oh there are there are hundreds and thousands of english words which some of the words i will be knowing and i will be using it in the sermon and it's not necessary that the preacher will be knowing all those hundreds of words which i know he will be knowing some other words he will also be good in english but it's not going to be very easy for him to learn all the words which i use so that he will learn and he can translate it properly so what we can do is we have to make sure that what i am speaking is audible first of all to the translator so that he will hear it properly even if he is not understanding the meaning of one particular word he will be able to understand the general meaning of that sentence and he can translate it's not possible for him to use a dictionary then and there so i should make sure that if my translator is standing on this side i should not turn to this side and speak and asking the translator to translate it's never possible and it's not going to happen you i am not supposed to look at this side and speak if i have a translator rather i should be always making sure that my voice even without this microphone or monitor help he will be able to hear and never blame the translator then otherwise some people blame the translator for every mistakes don't do that they are also human being they have a uh, an identity and one more last thing i'll stop there after finishing the meeting make sure that you are keeping the mic very safely on its place 
don't throw it and run away from the stage maybe you are a little tense you want to go out from the stage somehow very fast that is okay fine that is up to you but don't throw the mic somewhere and make sure that you are not hitting on the cable and if you hit on the table the mic will fall down and it will hit down and it will be broken and it will be useful for nothing anymore and so make sure that your mic is properly kept very safely on the stage or wherever the stand or whatever it is provided and then only you are supposed to leave the stage and if there is a provision to keep the mic down on the floor that is also fine wherever the provision is kept i mean is provided you have to keep it very safely make sure that the mic which you are given is properly handled and after your message hundreds of other people are there to use the same mic in different other places so please keep the mic safe for them to and it is not the last one to speak through this mic and this is just uh, you know one among the many and there are many more to come on the way if you want to know anything more about this you can personally ask me i'll tell you because my time is up god bless you thank you for listening